10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Welcome to DFW Roundtable Podcast, Texas' most powerful and entertaining podcast. Bringing you the best in entertaining interviews from the industry's top music entertainers, sports athletes, and much more. So grab a seat and a cold one and watch, listen, and enjoy. And now, here is your host, Ruben Campos. Hey, and welcome back, everybody, to the DFW Roundtable Podcast. Uh, you saw her here first, right before she got started, and it's a tremendous pleasure to have her back, Gabriela Martinez. Welcome back, Gabriela. Hello. Welcome back here. I'm, I'm doing great. Uh, it's great to see you again, Gabriela. You have been one busy woman, uh, l- pounding it, huh? Yes, always. Oh, you know how I am. I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, listen, congratulations between the last time we talked, mm-hmm. uh, which was uh, as we were talking um, before, you had just gotten signed uh, with your label. Yeah. And I Am War was in the works. And needless to say, I Am War was a good success. And it, it, it yes. kicked the door open for you. And and I look at, reflect at it to now, Gabriela, and it's just been a whirlwind between, I mean, it's just been Back quick. to back. Yes, 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 yes. And I, you know, that's so crazy. Um, it's just the when you look back on where you started, and where you are now. And it's crazy too, because I know a lot, at, at least for me and, you know, other artists I've talked to, we're like, man, we're really not moving the way we want to move. And like, you get in your head a lot, you know, you start thinking, oh, I'm never going to make it. I'm never going to da da da. But then you look back on all the progress you've made in that short amount of time, it hasn't even been a year. And you're like, oh, wait, you know, maybe, maybe I am doing something, you know, like, so yep. it's, it's crazy. It's been a crazy, not even full year, but it's it's just been it's been a good time you know i i'm i'm having the time of my life honestly that's what it's all about and 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 kudos to you and to your label uh for doing such a good job uh as far as the marketing and the way you have uh, released your songs as well man you do a great uh job on social media uh Thank to you. stay in tune with your fans right yes. but uh i am uh tremendous cumbia song great beat right uh that that's when everybody found out who Gabriela was, right? It's like, who's yes. this? Who's this? Yes, yes. Um, yes. And it was, it, I was, I was like, hey, I saw her on TikTok before she was there, right? Uh, and she was I on my show. First, <laughs> yeah, saw her first. Um, but uh, it was really great to see, um, I guess, the feedback from from the people, right? Uh, yeah. For that. Then here recently, Gabriela, you released "Amores Como Tu," your first mariachi song. Boy, oh boy, uh, what a beautiful song, beautiful vocals. The video was amazing. Thank you. Again, you guys did amazing. Talk to me a little bit about that. How did that come about? And 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 talk to me about the video because, folks, if you haven't seen the video, YouTube it, Gabriela Martinez, Amores Como Tu, you're going to be blown away. But talk to me a little bit about that. So Amores Como Tu wasn't even supposed to really happen. I was in the studio with Mariano, and we had a studio day. Um, but a song that I had, like, I just, I don't know. It just kind of fell through because I wasn't really feeling it. Like the vibes just weren't there, you know? Right, right. So I was like, what do you have? Because, you know, every producer has something in the vault. Like they have yes. songs, especially when he's been doing it for years. So we were just going through, um, and listening to some songs and there was one, Amores Como Tu, and it wasn't, um, fully written. Like it was just kind of like the first verse and like a little bit of the chorus. And it wasn't even in that key. It was in a lower key. And oh, it, was, wow. like, it was like, it wasn't saying like, I sing it like so smooth, you know, but that song was just very, Amor es como tu, me rompiste. Like it was just very yes, like, yes. choppy. So I heard that one. I was like, I love that one. And Mariana was like, Really? And I was like, yeah, I love it, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to amp up that mariachi. We're going to go a key higher and we're going to finish writing it because that song was so beautiful. Like when I heard it, I heard a Rocio Ducal type Mm -hmm. style, bolero, like that's, that's what I heard. And Mariano was like, you're right. Like Mariano was even the one, he was the one that said, you know, this needs a second verse. Like this needs to hit. So 
that's how she came to be. And wow. 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 <laughs> so, so who helped you write that second verse? My mom wrote it. Wow. Credits yeah. to mom. Yeah. She, that's awesome. I, I was honestly like, cause my mom's Colombian. She's, she speaks Spanish, you know? Uh -huh. Um, and Mariana was like, you know, he was thinking of stuff and my mom was like, I think I could write to it, you know, like, let me try. And sure enough. Boy. It's here we are. Awesome song again, and the video. Talk to him about the video. Where do you guys shoot that, and 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 who produced your video, man? That's an awesome video. Trill Art. I use Trill Art for everything. Like he's okay. based in Houston. Um, we were at a speakeasy in Houston. I think I we have the name in the video. It's like Emilio's, Emilio's, but it's in a restaurant. I forget the restaurant's name, but you you literally need a password to get in. Oh, okay. Okay. If you don't have the password, then it's like you can't oh sorry. Can't yeah. get to the kids club, you know, like you need the password and it's like this door that opens and it's in the kitchen. Like it's literally not even like in the dining oh, room. Wow. You have to give the password. Then you have to give another password. Like it's a whole process. So they actually let us record the video there and the owners were super nice, just amazing people. And um, I go in there and I was like, this is perfect because what I wanted was like, an old Latin vibe speech. Yes, yes. You know, that's what I wanted. Like something Celia yep. Cruz could have sang at when she was just getting started. Because I watched a Celia Cruz show on Netflix. So I was like, I need something like that. Like almost like tropical Havana meets that old vintage style. Well, it kind of gave me the vibe. If it would have been in black and white, it kind of gave me that vibe to Casablanca or something like like a, yes. a like, like a classic, right? Yes. Uh, yes. And then your dress and you know, the whole thing just came in perfect uh, on yes. the mark, man. And that dress was actually, shout out to Alamo Bridal here in San Antonio. They donated it to me to oh, wow. do the video, um, which was amazing, you know, because yes. they were also the ones that donated my the Hano Music Awards dress. They sponsored, sponsored. Well, huge shout out to them, huh? Alamo Bridal, let's go. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's, make it and continue making it happen, man, because that was on point. Yes. So, Amores Como Tu is still tracking on the radio. Uh -huh. So, and I'm keeping tabs on you, right? It's like, well, what's Gabriela doing? And and lo and behold, here she's in Waxahachie, Texas. And I said, you know what? I told my wife, let's go see her. Because uh, yes. there's there some other bands out there. And thank you so much, by the way, for spending time with us, taking pictures and the whole thing. What? Really enjoyed that. Yes. Uh, it was great to see you out there. But uh, the most important part for me that I was checking out was the, the crowd. And I could really tell at first, they're like, oh, I don't know. But then you busted out some of the Selena songs and you busted out your, by the time you busted out yours, you had them. Um, yeah. So, yeah, tremendous show. I was really impressed with that. Gabriela, keep up the great work on that. Thank you. So then after Waxahachie, uh, I see that you've been busy and uh, starting to work on some projects too, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> one, in particular, one in particular caught my eye really good, right? Because uh, he, he, to me, he's one of the top tier guys that I know that is everything he touches turns into gold. And that's Mr. Baby Bash. Tremendous mm -hmm. talent as a producer. Yes. Uh, tremendous talent overall, right? So yes. I see that you guys are starting to put some work together, right? We are. So, uh, first of all, Baby Bash is so cool. <laughs> he's just such a cool guy. Like, you know, when you meet somebody and you're like, wow, he's like, actually, he's cool. He's a cool guy, you know, like very friendly, um, super talented. And I obviously, yes. yes, he's done the rap game and he's done all that. But lyrically, what he can write what he hears, what he feels. It's like, he is such an old soul. Like I, I can't even, and I, so am I. So I'm like, when I'm with him and we're able to collaborate and we're able to make things together, like, I feel like it's, it's so easy to understand each other. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Yes. So we are actually working on the soldies right now. Okay. And how's that coming along? It's surprisingly so good that i'm i'm genuinely for me i grew up on motown i yes. grew up on jazz i grew up on like but i was like the only one in my family to listen like i would listen to like sarah vaughn for jazz and amy winehouse marvin gay gladys knight and the pips and my family would be like what the like where did this come yeah. from but yeah i don't know i've always just been kind of attached to that style of music 
um, that vintage feel where music came from the soul. Like, it, it I get, was- and I guess that's why your voice is so. I, I guess I mean because I've heard you do Jennifer Pena, I've heard you do Selena, I've heard you do you name it. Your voice is so in tune uh, to pretty much anything, and I guess it comes from that to where you've been since you were small. You've been listening to a diverse, different styles of music. You're just not yes. locked into one. No, definitely. And I, I tell everybody, like, when they're making songs or when they're, like, trying to, like, you know, oh, I really want to hit, but I don't know, like, something's missing. I'm like, what's missing is that musical diversity. You got to listen yeah. to everything. You Agreed. put it in one thing. That's Agreed. why I think a lot of people are, like, they're very scared sometimes to venture out, which is totally understandable. So am I. Like, if it weren't for Baby Bash and if it weren't for Gold Toes, my label, I wouldn't have ever thought i could do this but after listening to the songs right before they're even mixed i'm like that's me (laughs) that's that's me like my brother actually it's so sweet he teared up when he oh wow when he heard the last song i just did um and it was so crazy because we finished it and they played it back and obviously it's a rough mix it's not fully mixed right but they're like let's all listen to it back so baby bash is sitting back in the chair Bruce, the the producer, he's sitting there. We're just listening, and it ends. And Baby Bash is like, "This song is cold." He's like, "This this song is like," and I'm like, "If Baby Bash says my song is cold, yeah. the song yeah. is cold." You know. Let me tell you, if, if somebody knows, uh, it's him. He, he yeah. I mean, he's been doing it forever. So, I'm so ready. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Well, just don't forget about us little people. Once once oh. you go big time, right? Never, never, never. I'll hey, and, and hats off to, to you mentioned uh, GT Digital, Golden Toes. Hats yeah. off to them, man. They have really come out uh, on this thing big time and have put you in contact with some great people and so forth. So kudos to them as well for this. And I cannot wait. So timeline, what are we looking here, Gabriela? What, what are we looking here for, for release or something like that? So con la mirada. Let's talk about that too, right? Let's go back uh, because I got a little bit ahead of myself because I'm so excited about this. So before we talk about the Baby Bash release, you have a song that's in the radio now. It's Mm -hmm. called Con La Mirada. Yes. And it's only radio right now. It's soon going to be in all platforms. So talk to me a little bit about that. So Con La Mirada is actually, it's a Jonas Brothers song. Oh. The way you look at me. Got like it. With the, with the look that you give me, if you want to like get really, you know, technical, but uh, Frankie J translated it, and we told him we were like, "Hey, we're gonna do this one." You know, Frankie's also a really cool guy. Um, shout out to Frankie J. Tremendous um, talent again. Yes, yep. and he was like, "Okay," like, and so we played it for him, you know, and he really liked it. So we went ahead and made con la mirada. Um, I'm featuring Grupo Salto in the music video. Shout out to Grupo Salto, yep. Yvette, Ray, everybody. Um, they're gonna be in the music video with me. That one comes out. The digital release and the music video is coming out in July, mid July. Okay. Um, and then my EP comes out in August. Can't wait for that one. Cannot with, wait for that one. With all of mis canciones, <laughs> I'm really excited. Um, we got you know. We got three songs on there. Yeah. Three songs that you haven't heard yet. So. Okay. Okay. It's, we are, we are ready. And then in August, August, no, I already said August. Oh my gosh. I'm already forgetting my months. September, hopefully on my birthday. I hope it's on my birthday. We shall see. We're releasing um my baby bash. The first song, the project with baby bash. Wow. Wow, so, man, you you guys are coming back to back. We're literally like, all right, yes, every month, like we're just gonna boom, 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 because you need a month yes, to really, yes. really, really market and to really put the song out there, get people excited about it. This is what's happening, you know, like it's it's about the marketing plan. So we are going to be yes, yeah, September. I'm really excited for September. I mean, I turned 22 this year. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> but that Taylor Swift song, I don't know about you. That's all. That's <laughs> but um, I turned 22 this year and a lot has happened last year. Yeah. You know, yeah. Mentally, I think it was one of the hardest years for me. 
Yeah. Um, it was it was not an easy task for anybody to foretake. Yeah. No. And I think I had to really, you know, I'm very spiritual with mm -hmm. God. And there were so many times I would literally just like lean on him all the way, like all the way. And just, I always do, but there were times when I literally like would fall to my knees and be like, yep. I need your help because I can't do yeah. this. Right. Um, and you know, um, there were times when things just got really, really never, uh, nothing, nothing will ever stop me. I know that, but there were times when things got really hard and no one knew because I just kept pushing. I was still yes. making fun that nobody knew. Yeah. And that's the cool thing, you know, I can, I can be going through all this, but at the end of the day, like I'm going to give you my best, yeah. no matter what it is. If I have something really sad or bad that happened to me before a show, you will never know because I'm always going to give a hundred percent regardless of anything that's going on in my life, you know? Yeah. And I credit that to you, Gabriela. Um, and for those that didn't watch Gabriela on the, my first show, um, Gabriela dropped everything she had in Florida. She's a Florida girl yes. and says the heck with it. I'm following my dream. I'm moving to San Antonio and moved to San Antonio to pursue her dream. That itself is not an easy task. Um, no. so, uh, and like you said, and the music industry can be brutal, challenging. And just when you think things get better, boom, you're back down again. Right. But one thing you've got is you're a fighter and you've shown that. Uh, so yeah. Keep keep it going, keep it going, and it's paying off, Gabriela, because we're seeing the results. Uh, and uh, the results. Speaking of results, um, you had some results already and some praise. Uh, you received uh, an award, didn't you? I did. I got the best new artist at the Premios Tejano Mundial Awards, um, which was super cool because you know, as someone who is not Tejana, I'm not Mexican and I'm not from Texas. Um, you never think that you could ever be recognized in a genre like this. Right. You know, like it's just, it's just not something that comes to mind. You know, yeah. It, it, yeah. honestly, it wasn't. Um, I went to have a good time to support everyone else. You know, in my speech, I literally gave a huge shout out um, to the other nominees as well. And to somebody, Annika, you know, I, you know, you've heard yes. of Annika. Yes. I think uh -huh. she's with Shelly. Um, I gave a shout out to her. Alicia was there as well. Even Jenny B, who's an upcoming artist, Vanita, um, all these upcoming artists that are around me. It's like, you know, thank you for this. But like, look at what all of us are doing. Like, right. this is right. this is a movement. It's not, yes. nothing is staying stagnant. Alicia, I had the privilege, um, Alicia C, I had the privilege of listening to the rest of her EP. It's gorgeous. And it's it's not traditional Tejano. Honestly, it's, I'm not even going to call it any type of genre. It's just her. Annika, when she sings, it's just her, you know, yeah. like people yeah. are just very, it's so inspiring. And I, I was just so blessed to be on that stage. My dad actually flew in with my mom from Florida to see me win. So that was great because I don't, I don't, they're not with me here in Texas, you know? Yeah. So having my family there, having the people I love be around me and support me as I won that award. Like it was, it was great. Well, that's a huge accomplishment. Like you said, because it had, it's been months and here you are already getting your first award. Uh, yes. so yeah, that's, that's, that I speaks peeing, volumes. I was peeing my pants a little bit. Like, <laughs> Just I, a little bit. I could sing. I could do all these things on stage. I could talk to y'all on stage but the second I have to go up there and accept something. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Well, you mentioned something, too, I want to touch a little bit on, uh, and that's the girl movement. And and I agree. There's probably a good handful, if not more of y'all, that are making an impact in Tejano right now. And, and coming on strong, you mentioned Anika yeah. is one of them. Uh, este, there's Shelly has a, a good group that she's she's oh. pushing, right? Yeah. Um, and she's also been a great mentor. You've got to work with Shelly as well. Yes. Pero I guess what I'm referring to, the, the, the coolest thing that I see about this is that you all get along you all have collaborated in stages together yep. and so forth it's yep. really really cool to see that man and and keep it going because uh as you mentioned uh they ain't seen nothing yet there's more to come no and the thing is like it's so cool like annika actually stayed with me um over the weekend the past weekend because she was shooting her music video which i'm so happy for y'all to see that but it's not just like 
on social media were nice to each other. Like I was able to have her stay with me because we actually have a bond. Like we're friends. We're good That's friends. Good. Yeah. And we were able to go out with Jenny B. We saw Alicia. Like we're we're all just really rooting. Like it's not just something a lot of times I feel like some, you know, social media, it's like, oh yeah, you go girl, this, you know, but like right. stream my song, buy my merch. Like I will literally go to my friend's shows, buy their merch. And I already have like five of their hats. And my <laughs> so, it's just about the support, you know, yes, we, sure. we're all on the come up, you know, all of us. Sharing that love, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now, um, you got the awards. Now, let's fast forward back again. We're, we're in the Baby Bash thing. You're saying September. Your album drops in August, you said? The EP, my Gabriella album. That's your first full album, right? Plus, the handle with this label, yes. Awesome. Uh, the name of the album? Can you give it out? Not yet. Not yet? Okay, so you gotta, you're going to keep us on our toes. I know on that what one. it is, and I, I'm... I'm excited because I think I think the name of the album is so appropriate okay for how I feel because with this album it was like all me a little bit of blood sweat and tears right all into it. it all of it was me all of yeah. it like I've had so much creative freedom and I'm so thankful for that because you know that's not it's yeah. not always like that right right and so for me to get the green light for like everything that I've just like, I have this vision. I want to sound like this. Can we try this here? Like always getting the yes, always do you like show me what you want. Like that is so rare and it's such a blessing. So huge shout out to Mariano, to Bruce, to Gold Toast, to Trill Art, everybody that has helped me along the way. Like y'all are, y'all are amazing. So yeah, I agree. And it's showing because you guys are putting out some great stuff. And then not only that, but uh, the, the uh, I guess the collab you're making with some of the top people, man. You talk about Frankie J, Baby Bash. Wow, those are heavy, yeah. heavy hitters. More to come, and you know what? I If I gotta go to California for some people. <laughs> 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 no, but California definitely is, you know, whether, I know a lot of people are like, you know, like be true to Texas, stay in Texas. That's totally fine, but why can't Texas go to them? Oh yeah, what no, no doubt. If I came to Texas, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. If yeah. you keep things in one box, you can find things, and you try to just keep them here. You're never gonna grow. I agree. There's other states, man. Illinois, um, yeah. you know, Michigan, New Mexico, New, New Mexico, Mexico, Arizona. Yep. They yep. love Tejano music, yep. and and yes, take your music out there. Uh, there's Everywhere, nothing wrong with that. Florida. Even who was just in Florida? I think Michael Salgado was in Florida. Yes, Florida. yes, yes. So, uh, it, they love him. Like, and he's Tejano. Bobby Pulido goes yep. to Florida all the time. Doesn't matter where you are. They love it. You just got to go everywhere. Don't keep it in one one spot because that's just doing yourself a disservice as well, you know? So since you're open-minded, I got to ask you this, right? Because Amores Como Tu kind of light bulb time, right? Yes. Um, it it kind of gave me that um, that Selena vibe. Um, so it was like, man, uh, I wonder if Gabriela or uh, Golden Toes has any plans to take you to Mexico and start introducing you to Monterrey, even your music first and stuff like that. Any plans for to hit the Mexico market? So in terms of Mexico, they are the. What is it? I know. Country wise, like population wise, uh -huh. Mexico is like if fifty six percent is in a, is in America, the rest is Mexico. Right. Like Mexico, right. they have been so supportive. Like I mean, like if you go on my TikTok, you go on my Instagram, ninety percent of the people are Mexicanos. So, like, so you already have a following from Mexico, yes, then. which That's is great. super cool because it's like. And they know I'm not Mexican. They know. Like, they, That's they're okay. Aware. Like, you know? Yeah. So like I told I, you, it's about the music. It's about the music, and it's just super cool. So never say never. Who knows? Keep that option because um, I had Destiny on, Destiny Divida, uh, you know, yeah. Raulito's daughter, right? And Destiny's doing very well in Monterrey. Um, but all she does is Tejano, right? But Monterrey loves her because of her music as well. But we're talking because I, I worked out there for a long time and I know Monterrey very well. 
um, and we're talking about it. it's nothing to be eating outside in a patio and here's cars passing by jamming to La Mafia, Mas, Emilio. Yeah. Uh, you go to a restaurant, they got the Hano plane out there. Yeah. So it's almost it's almost a little Texas, to be honest with you, out there. No, uh, really. so, we all just kind of, everybody goes into somebody's corner, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, thing, yeah. But Mexico is right there. Yes. So yes. why not? You know, yeah. Texas is right here. So why not? You know, yeah. I. It doesn't matter. Like it, we're so close that we're literally we're neighbors. Like we could just go, hey, hey, neighbor. You know, like yeah. We, yeah, we take Mexican regional, and I know that was a huge thing too. Um, there was a conversation that I was having with somebody, and they didn't like banda music. Oh, okay. They, they didn't like banda, and I was like, okay, you know, teach their own. Um, they're like, no, like it's just banda's not it. But then the other person that was in the conversation, they were from California, but they were Mexican. They love banda music, banda, right. but they didn't like the Hano music. Mm -hmm. I was like, isn't that interesting? You know, like the the different areas that you're in. Yes, yes. People are like, they have theirs, but it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter what the genre is at the end of the day. It's what speaks to you. It's the song itself. It's the words in the song. It's how the song makes you feel. That's why with genres, I don't really, I don't really care for genres. I just care about the song itself. That's it. That's it. If, I'll listen to anything. Like I listen, I listen to Bollywood music too. Like I'll get into it. Like I don't, it doesn't <laughs> matter to me. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's really about how does it make me feel? Right. So. Right. Cool. Well, let's go back to La Mirada because uh, that's currently in the radio. It's going to come out on, on digital platforms. When is a music video coming out? Because I know there's a, a kind of like a teaser out there already, right? That gives you a little sneak peek. Mm -hmm. on youtube so i guess everybody go out there and google it you can see a little segment of it but when does the actual video come out for it it's coming out mid-july same day as the perfect so perfect it'll so be all everything it all come all out. At once. everything all at once and i think that's i honestly like doing it that way because i like listening to the song and having a visual with it like i, I like agree. to see them at the yes. same it's like oh like Yes. Oh, by the way, you like this music music video? Stream my song. Oh, you like the song? Look at my music video. Like hand in right. hand. So, yeah. and Asalto, going back to Asalto, you've jammed down with them, or they've jammed with you a couple of times, right? Live sessions. Yes, yes. I love playing with Asalto. The they are just like they just have. First of all, they just got their stuff together. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then, you know, they've played with each other for so long, and they've pretty much mastered like all the staple songs that you need to know and even if they don't know it they'll learn it in like 10 minutes so they'll right, be like oh, right okay yeah okay cool all right we're playing it tonight like that's that's all it takes <laughs> for me i'm like let me <laughs> fumble yeah. my words. but for them they're just so talented they're tight they're just good at what they do and you know yvette's yvette's managing them and she runs a very tight ship which is a good thing honestly you want things ran like this 100 percent. you know you want you yes. want someone that's gonna have your back because the second thing starts to yeah. cracks people get it's just not so huge shout out to asalto huge props to asalto for what they're doing what they continue to do because they are in my opinion one of the best out there cool and we get to see them on this video oh you will yeah yeah perfect all right now, one more thing I want to talk about before we be, before we leave. Um, be, when we first started, you didn't have any merch. Now you got merch, and I, I saw your shirts. Very nice, very nice. So, um, if somebody was to say, you know what, I want to get a Gabriela shirt, uh, how how do they go about getting one? Uh, you know, say somebody here in Dallas wants one, right? Would it be through Facebook or what? What what would you tell folks out there? Through Facebook is the best way. Uh, my momager, <laughs> she moderates my Facebook. Momager, I like that. <laughs> yes, my momager. She moderates my Facebook and she's the one that handles merch. So if she sees that, you know, she'll let me know, hey, Gabby, um, somebody wants to buy this, da, 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 drop it off in the mail. This is the size. Because the merch Perfect. is me, but my mom is the one that like moderates and kind of makes sure she keeps track. Because I'm not going to mess with numbers because something will go wrong if I start messing with the numbers and I'm just going to sing. Well, that's, that's your job, right? To sing, right? Yeah. So you leave, you leave your mom taking care of that. So, um, again, so drop her a message on, on Facebook, let her know what you want, the size, what all do you have right now? Just uh, t shirts 
we have t-shirts and air fresheners and oh air fresheners yeah. the air fresheners are new <laughs> okay okay it's like you got my face in your car and it's <laughs> I smell amazing, guys. So. All right, there you go. You even you even smile at them while they can hang it on their mirror, right? Oh no, I'm like this. So which pick did you use? The I am what one where I'm like this with the hat. Okay, the hat. So very sassy, you know, very. All right, so air fresheners, t-shirts, you're good to go. Yes. How about upcoming gigs? Uh, what have you got? I know if you've made some presentations, you've been busy. Um, and like I said, I, I caught you here in Waxahachie, which is North Texas. Um, as to what anything in the plans here? As of right now, our game plan we do. I do have a private gig coming up, um, and then I have. You said Abernathy just now, right? I was like, yes. Did I just hear Abernathy? Yeah, that's July 29th. Okay. July okay. 29th. The Jamaica. Did I say the Jamaica. I hope I said it right. Um, that one I'm going to be, it's still up in the air, but I'm pretty, I'm like 90% sure that one's happening as well. But other than that, we are focusing so hard this year uh, yeah. on just busting out content. Yes. Because a lot of people, a lot of promoters, they want to see, oh, okay, this is a pretty song, but I want to see her. Like how, mm -hmm. what is she, how does she perform? What does she look like? You know, because you got to be the whole package. You got to be everything that they 100, want. One hundred percent, man. And you, you guys are coming up with back to back uh, left, left hook, and then the right, the right one coming up behind. So you got August and September, big dates back to back. Yes, with some big time releases. So that that's exciting. All right, any any uh, any uh, special shout outs to anybody before we go, Gabriela? Shout out to my family, of course, my mom, my dad, my sister, and my brother uh, for just being super supportive and, you know, being my heart when I'm not home. Um, I do miss home, but they are my home. So soon enough, I'll be back. I'm just kidding. Not really, because I do want to go back. <laughs> but <laughs> shout out to my family. Shout out to the fans and everyone that's been streaming my music, that buys the merch, that watches the videos. Thank yep. you guys, because... Literally, I could not do this without y'all. And then huge shout out to my label, GT Digital, Goltos, Michelle, everybody on the team, Ilka, um, Baby Bash and Bruce. We're ready. I'm ready to go. So. Heard it here. You heard it here. Yes. All right. Well, with that being said, thanks so much for coming back on. Um I, ha I had to have you back, man, because I, I said this, there's just so much in the works and I wanted you to share that and for our folks and our listeners to be out there waiting for it. Uh, so August, September, mark it on your calendars. First first and foremost, Con La Mirada. Be looking for that uh, mid-July, yes. right? Uh, yep. This the new single that's out. It's on the radio, but you can download it on Spotify and everywhere else uh, mid-July and get the video as well. Download the video. And in the meantime, if you want to watch a great mariachi song, go back. Amores Como Tu, man. You'll be blown away. Amores uh, that. Yep. Gabriela, thank you so much. You have a great evening. Always great to see you. Um, yeah. If you don't mind, um, when uh, when you release a video, uh, drop me a note and let me know so we can push it back out there and share it out there as well. Of course. I got you. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Have a great evening. We'll see you. All right. This episode is brought to you by Avante Party Rentals and Catering. Let Avante help you with your party or wedding needs. From tables, chairs, plates, silverware, to a full catering service, Avanti can take care of it all. Call us at 214-680-5521 for a free quote and let Avanti take care of all your needs so you can enjoy your festivities.